Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and conduct polls in your PowerPoint slides. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm in the insert menu in PowerPoint. I'm using the desktop version of PowerPoint. And we're going to use an add-in. And the add-in we're going to use is called Poll Everywhere. If you don't see it listed under My Add-ins, simply go to Get Add-ins, do a search for Poll, and you'll see Poll Everywhere pop up, and then you can hit the Add button to add it right in. In this case here, I already have it installed, so I'm gonna hit Poll Everywhere. It's going to insert directly onto this blank slide that I've already added in, and you'll see I can click and drag to make that display a little bit larger on the slide. You'll notice here that I'm already logged into my Poll Everywhere account. And I did that here in my web browser at polleverywhere.com. And at polleverywhere.com slash activities, you can see I have a couple of activities already listed here in my account. Now I'm using the free version of Poll Everywhere. So there are a couple of limitations to be aware of. Number one, I can only have 25 responses per activity, and I can only run one activity at a time. But for most classroom settings, this will be okay. So here I am back in my slides, and let's say I wanna make a new activity. I can choose all of these different formats. I'm gonna use the word cloud is the one that I use the most often with students. And I'll say, what is the one word, or what is the best word to describe your weekend? Good question to ask on a Monday to get a sense of how your class is feeling. Let's go ahead and hit the save button down here. And now we have my question, what is the best word to describe your weekend? Let's select that. And now activate this question. So now I've activated it. And you can see here's how my class can respond. They can go in their web browsers to pollev.com slash richardburn030 and respond to the activity or they can send a text to the number that they see on the screen here. And obviously there are no responses coming in yet. So let's take a look at how a student responds to this and what happens to my slides once students start to respond. So my students go to pollev.com slash richardburn030. What is the best word to describe your weekend? Fun. Now, that word fun appears on the slide almost instantly. If another student were to do the same thing, and they come along and put in a different word like awesome, we'll see that appears on the screen as well. And let's say one more student comes along and does the same thing, submits his or her response, and it says fun again. And back here on my slides, now fun has just gotten bigger. It doesn't appear twice. It's just gotten bigger in the word cloud. Now, of course, this will also work if I go to slideshow and present from my current slides. We'll see that display right there in my current slides as well. So that's how you can create and conduct a poll right inside of your PowerPoint slides. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.